This is the uh, torque app. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, also monitoring things like the vehicle speed, engine RPM. Uh, this one also, uh, I'm not sure if Dash has the boost rating or not. It may call it map or uh, backing or something. Or uh, and I also don't know if it has the adjustment like torque does because you will have to adjust the torque app for your uh, uh, altitude to have the correct uh, boost when you are actually under boost. Um, mine, I'm not sure if I've actually ever adjusted it on this phone, so I'm not sure if the boost gauge will read correctly, but uh, it's still a great app for monitoring. It has some really cool stuff that Dash does not have, such as uh, if your phone is mounted in a holder, uh, and you've got the accelerometers calibrated correctly, it will show you the vehicle tilt and uh, pitch and such, which is uh, kind of awesome. Uh, also, we'll do uh, all kinds of nifty mileage things. We'll uh, check the emission system and uh, uh, check engine lights, of course. We can also clear engine lights, unlike uh, torque. And I was able to do so even with my cheap uh, Elm 327 clone OBD2 adapter. So, handy app. Uh, I'm not quite sure. It's been a long time since I used it. I know I've done it before. Uh, it will also do the GPS monitoring so you can track your trip and have it on a map. Dash is now starting a trip. And unfortunately, if you have them both installed on your phone, sometimes they will kind of argue with each other. Uh, I don't know if we're still getting readings on torque. Um, really? So that's kind of interesting. Maybe they both read at the same time, which is kind of cool. If you can track with two apps simultaneously, no. I don't know. Oh, did it just drop connection to the ECU? It's trying to connect to the uh, other one. Yeah, so they may conflict with each other if you use them both at the same time, which is interesting. But if one's running, it won't connect to the other one until the other one is disconnected. Right. So, uh, and I know in Dash you can set it so it does not automatically connect. Uh, I don't remember if that setting is available in Torque or not. It may be. Uh, in any case, Torque has a few more options when it comes to the... Uh, uh, messing with your OB2 adapter, but uh, that's the app everyone pretty cool play around with it and uh, Like comment share subscribe all that happy sobbing